Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. I got three awesome rack packs in the mail today that I'm going to be showing you guys. And all three of these I got uh, through trading with other rack pack collectors. And I've talked a lot about trading on this channel and why it's beneficial sometimes to trade. You know, there are, there are certain items, especially in the unopened community, that people will hold on to, right, unless you make it worth their while. So if there's something you see that you want, like a, a pack you really, really want, uh, it's it's beneficial sometimes to have trade bait, right? To have something that's pretty awesome that you're willing to put on the table, right? And I've recently went on a rack run. I, I purchased a 19, and if you watch my channel, you know this, I purchased a 1975 Topps rack, a 1976 Topps rack, and a 1977 Topps rack. The 77 Topps I purchased at the National, 76 I got through a cash trade deal, and the 75 I got through a cash trade deal. Well, after I got these racks, I actually, I thought about it for a while, and I th figured out the year that I actually really would like more of, of those three years, right? That They're all great years, and they're all classic, you know, awesome rack packs to have. In any rack pack from 75, 76, or 77 is just a great mail day, right? Um, but I decided uh, that I really wanted to focus on the first set that I put together when I was a teenager. I wanted to focus on the 1977 tops uh, uh, in unopened. I wanted to try to get some more 1977 tops rack packs. So I reached out to some rack pack collectors that I knew that had some items that I was interested in, and I put the 75 tops rack on the table with one. Uh, dealer or one collector, excuse me, he's not a dealer. He's he is a collector just like I am. Um, and then the other uh, collector I reached out to, and I put the seventy six tops rack on the table. And both of them responded, and we um, the first we didn't even really negotiate very much. It was just one rack for one rack, which is always cool. Uh, and then the second uh, trade was the seventy six, and I got two racks out of it. So that's why I have three racks in the mail today. So. I'm going to show you uh, these three and um, the, the both guys that I um, traded with, um, Mike and Greg, if you guys watch this. I know sometimes they watch my channel. You know, it's a pleasure trading with you both. And the unopened community, I just posted in one of the Facebook, unopened Facebook groups about this. The unopened community has some really, really awesome people in it. Like really awesome. Just honest, trustworthy, straightforward there's no deception, you know, it's it's when you find someone you can trade with that is reasonable and likes the same stuff you like, it, it, it really is just great. And so Mike and Greg, if you watch this, thank you so much for working with me. And the first pack that I got, this is pretty awesome. This is what I traded the 1975 Tops rack for. It's a 1977 rack, as you can see, with Steve Carlton on top. Sorry about the glare. There's the Steve Carlton. I mean, there's the header. But just a beautiful, beautiful pack. And this was actually, the there were two 1977 Topps racks that Baseball Card Exchange had at their big display at the National. I bought one, and this was the other one. Mike bought the other one. He beat me to this one. And so both 77 racks that were actually at the Baseball Card Exchange booth uh, this year at the National. I got them. I ended up with both of them, which is kind of crazy. But I am stoked to add that. Just beautiful. Look at that Carlton. I'll show it, show it again because it's just gorgeous. Just a beautiful pack. So very excited about that one. And now the second two, I, I, uh, the second two packs that I got. Now this is the trade of the 1976 Topps rack that I got, that I recently obtained. Again, you know, some people may, may say, well, why are you trading for a little bit of a newer product, right? Why are you trying to go after 77s? So well, I just like 77 tops a lot, and it has some sentimental value to me. Uh, and for me, trading a 75 and it had commons showing, if you remember that rack, for the 77 with a Hall of Famer showing is, is very reasonable. It's a reasonable trade. And I'm happy with the end result, right? This, this the Carlton rack is awesome. Now, for the 76, I got this 77. There's no Hall of Famer showing, but it, I just thought it was a beautiful pack. 
um, Greg, the, uh, the guy that I traded with for this, he posted it in Facebook. He actually won this in the most recent Heritage auction. And he posted it, and I saw it, and I was like, ooh, I like this. And all three of the 77s that I have have a rookie cup card showing in the middle. The one that I bought at the National has Gary Templeton. Uh, the one with Carlton has a rookie cup card, and now I have this one also. So I have three of these, and they all have rookie cup showing. Just a beautiful, beautiful pack. Love it. Excited about it. Um, it's This one's a little bit more worn. And the others, the uh, the cellophane is brittle and it's yellowed a little bit, but sometimes that happens when you're dealing with truly vintage unopened. So two 77s that came today. And then the second one, because trading a 76 for a 77 just wasn't quite uh, an even enough trade, I, I asked for one other rack to be put in, and I got this gorgeous 1985 Fleer rack with Nolan Ryan on top. Just beautiful. I'm trying to show it, uh, minimizing the glare there. Just a beautiful pack. Love the Ryan card. 85 Fleer are, 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 can be really, really nice. I like the design of 85 Fleer and 84 Fleer quite a bit. I've already expressed my feelings about 83 Fleer. Um, ugliest set probably ever produced. Um, but <laughs> no offense if you like 83 Fleer. But uh, I actually have an 83 Fleer rack. That's a baseball card exchange right now being wrapped. So <laughs> apparently I don't dislike them that much. But so three racks today. Sent away two, got three back, including this gorgeous 85 Fleer Ryan. Very difficult uh, to find 85 Fleer cello racks. Maybe 10 a year, if that, on eBay come up. If that, probably less than that. So excited to add those to the collection. And I'm actually going to be... Uh, doing the Collecting Vintage and Open podcast tomorrow. I am going to be interviewing my good friend Phil from I Love Baseball Cards. He's going to be uh, coming on to the podcast, so be on the lookout for that interview. Should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Keep collecting vintage unopened baseball.